you know, whenever you're in a trade negotiation, um, there are a thousand different interests that have to be looked at, have to be uh, dialogued with, protected in advance. Um, previous governments, previous liberal governments, because of that, have been unable to move forward on trade. As soon as someone objects, they walk away from the table. That's why 99% of the trade access created by, conservative, by governments in Canada has been created by conservative governments. We know it is important. The jobs of the future are going to depend in a world global economy in our access, privileged access to international markets. We have to stay at the table, defend and protect our interests, and be prepared to move forward. We've been able to do that with deals that create jobs, that protect the vital interests of the Canadian economy. And unlike the other parties, we're not going to walk away from a, tr a trade negotiation at the first sign of worry. We're there to make sure Canada is a full participant in the global economy of the 21st century. That's the only way we can create jobs, and we are the only party that has a record of doing it. Understanding, first of all, that we're not in a global free market when it comes to agriculture. Every single country sitting around any trade table uh, massively protects uh, in different ways its agricultural industry. And what's important is, uh, in any negotiations, uh, that we engage in a substantive way that is going to be in the benefit of, Can of Canada and Canadian jobs. That's what a Liberal government would do. But on top of that, we would do it in an open and transparent way so Canadians would know what's being put on the table. Yet again, we have a Prime Minister who's engaged in the kind of secrecy uh, and uh, uh, non-transparency uh, that leaves a lot of people uncertain when we need to have a Prime Minister who's actually making a case for trade and pointing out how many jobs come through trade, how much uh, export-intensive industries pay 50% higher wages than non-exporting industries. So yes, we need to protect our existing systems which work to ensure that our agricultural uh, communities and farms continue uh, to be able to feed the rest of us in this country. But at the same time, uh, we need to do that in an open and transparent way, and that's unfortunately what this Prime Minister has not done.